Okay, let's do it. Well, it's a one. Oh, let's see how the practice pays. I'm gonna need a little more work. This is not right. I'm 
here all day, though. Three deaths. Nice. That's a good way to start. I can't even catch up. That was just really bad. I think that was four movements? I think that was like a movement of four that I just saw. tell between movements of three and four. You kind of get the idea between like movements of three. Went way too early on the platform rise and I missed the cycle. Really? Really? How can you fail boom boom levels? Shit's easy. God, I'm getting random no P speed and then P speed out of nowhere, then no P speed again, then P speed again. What's, what's happening? <sighs> oh boy. I thought the practice would pay off, but. No, it's in no, I'm just inconsistent. I'm too inconsistent to actually get good runs. I tried to give myself like about two hours of practice earlier and uh, it's not doing anything real. All it simply meant was just that I got a sub four grass. That's all it really meant, nothing different. Look at that. Over two minutes lost for inexplicably just random shit. Can you can you be any more ridiculous? Subpixels? Can you be any more ridiculous with your subpixels? Can you try any harder to bullshit me? Did I really just get early hammer? Did I really just fucking get early hammer? Wow. 
I just fucking got early hammer. What is this shit? I literally got early hammer. That was a no death early hammer. What in the actual fuck? I literally got early hammer. I got the early hammer. How the fuck? How the fuck was I even expected to get early hammer out like this? gonna turn upside down if I game over, which is gonna happen, I know it. Does the rock even come back if you game over? Like, like would the hammer just be completely useless at that point? Leave an early hammer after all that. Seriously, I just go from a run that just flat out starts dying on me when the when the consistency just dies, and then I literally get early hammer. So I get I get three level skipping early hammer. That's just that's just ridiculous. And I am gonna save time on the world segment because of what happened in world two, like. Like, if this was a deathless World 2 into early hammer, into that kind of early hammer, there's if there's something like that, this would probably be like a sub 5 segment. Just imagine sub 5 desert. Actually, can I. Can you even, I can't remember if you can actually get sub 5 desert worlds in Warpless with, with deathless early hammer. That'd be something to consider. something to consider. Desert with a game over and early hammer. How the fuck can you even early hammer out of a game over? That the, the odds are just too stupid. Like they've been calculated up about maybe five percent according to some of these old score record progression for worthless. This stuff doesn't even change the fact that I just randomly got it after such a after such a way to rip my time saves from grass. That doesn't make sense. How is this even happening? Really? Just because I hit the water at the same time I touch the cheap cheap, it counts as me dying. Can I just get the mushroom to be nice here? Okay, it's going right. And well, never mind, because I'm never gonna be able to get that thing anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play this as safe as possible. It's not even worth it though, because I don't even have any extra lives to carry this float. I literally have to play casual 3 3, or casual 3 2. Remember when I said this was going to be a casual 3-2? This is beyond Let's Play Trash. This is now beyond Let's Play Trash, because... Literally, both of the times that I game over, I... Like, the game decides to put a spade card on top of the starting panel. 
Like, it knows if I'm gonna game over, so when that happens, it just decides to make me lose more time on top of my punishments. So on top of me getting a game over, I have to spend time playing a four spade game just because I'm sent back to the start panel. That's a real problem here. So now my early hammer time save is dead. Way beyond dead. The early hammer time saves are just dead altogether, anyways. I'm so surprised I even got that. I even I'm surprised I even got that kind of early hammer. Ah, oh, really, dude? You know what? I'm tired. I'm just risking it. I'm just risking it. Fuck it. I can't even do a level this simple just because I don't even have power-ups to save me. <sighs> it's not even worth getting it because I'm just gonna lose it anyways. Oh, it's not even worth it, man. It's not even worth it. That's not even worth it either. Just risk it. Fucking risk it. Simple. Oh my fucking Jesus. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's this level. Uh... No. Oh, I'm gonna save time here, definitely. We'll go by like a minute, I think. Four to thirty nine seconds. Okay. Thirty nine seconds. And there goes P Speed. And there goes a Mario. There goes one Mario. Oh, this is suicide. Plus, they put a power-up block in this area just to mock you. For, for being small Mario, it literally mocks you that way. Oh god, it moved the spade card. Alright game, make your move. Make your move, I'm not doing it for you. I can't do that. I have to die in 3-5, real quick. So I can get the cycles on track. Because if the br because if the little bridge separating three six and three eight aren't open, 
as in... I'd have to at least be able to enter. Welp. That's that's how you don't lose your that's how you don't lose your cloud. Now I have to play through six. Just because I let myself die, and there goes a mushroom, so now I'm guaranteed to just lose everything. I guess. I'm now guaranteed to lose everything, and now. Literally guaranteed to lose everything. That's fun. I may as well just not even use the cloud unless I can actually get 3-8 properly. Because I forgot the jumping pattern there, and messing that up literally causes you to get eaten by the fish. And I still gotta do 3-8, not dying 3-9, and just hopefully for the love of god beat Wendy without game overing on this one. Oh, come on, the fucking blocks. We're losing two minutes. We're losing a whooping two minutes here. That's f great. That's great, we're losing two minutes. Losing a whooping two minutes here. So now I gotta replay 3 6 due to the game over. It's a real problem. So I have to replay 3-6. That's real fun. And plus RNG literally throws the mushroom out. Trash bin. It doesn't even want me to let it ha- it doesn't even want me to have a mushroom to begin with. Why do I bother? I went into the block for that little portion of a second. Oh, that's great. Oh, this game hates me. Yep. Kind of figured. <sighs> this game hates newcomers trying to take on Warp Bus. It really hates people trying to do Warp Bus. What a sight to behold. What a sight to behold. Doesn't even want any people to run Warp Bus. That's a little better. Now, because I'm off cycle, I have to die somewhere else. 
means die in 3-7. Uh, okay, there's the pit. Because I need to be able to get back into the... I need to get on the cycle for 3-8 bridge, because otherwise I can't enter the level. Red shit fucked me up for five minutes straight. That's over five minutes lost, people. That's five minutes lost, ladies and gentlemen. F. Any, any particular bump on that pipe, and I just cannot consider going for that. You know, what, I'm not going. I'm not doing it. Oh, Jesus. Alright, we're not going for PSP. Can I carry one of these? So I can kill one of the fish here. That one, right. That one, specifically. I can regain most of the time save. Most. I just decide not to be a dickhead on the airship. If I decide not to be a dickhead and actually figure out the pattern, I could just kind of bring my run back in the green splits, supposedly. If I could just not be a dick here, that would be, that would be great. That would be great. Alright, that prevents these guys from even trying. These guys can't even try now. <laughs> I love how gimmicky those cannon shots are. Time to cycle so you can actually fly yourself up there. Alright, I gotta stay low for the first hit. Really good. Alright. Okay, we're back in green split status, just barely. Look at look at the abomination that happened. Like, I go into 3-8, I, I skip 3-6 to cloud into 3-8. Die, so then the cloud is completely gone, so then I can't do anything. Then 3 8, I game over the second time I enter the level. And then when I finally figured this shit out, look at all that. It's really fun when I'm only barely ahead right now. It's just, it doesn't make sense. And I can never figure out how to play these levels, so I just kinda, I kinda just go from the layout and see what I can do with it. I just see what I can do. Try again. Okay, RNG was very stupid, but I still did it. That was stupid RNG, but it works. 
it's fine. RNG was just so finicky. Moving to two. Oh, get in that pipe. Get in. Not movement of four because they hit e because they hit each other on the map and they have to go somewhere. <laughs> movement of three. That's a stupid movement of three. I had to play with a movement of three on that one. Movement of two. If you went down, it would have been three. It's mostly movements of three I'm getting here. Oh, I might have messed up the nip here. Oh, I still got it. Not considering it. Not considering it. In fact, I'm going in. With the leaf. The fact I'm going in with the leaf is crazy enough. I guess that's fine. Unreasonable time save, but whatever.
There's so much time save I can do in the pipe world. It's mundane. I think I have like a total of 10 or 15 minutes throughout pipe. Maybe 10 minutes or so. I find that hard to believe. There's roughly like 10 plus minutes in pipe I could do. It's hard to believe that's something. Like, if I can... If I can get out of... If I can finish Ice World without losing a power-up, I can actually go for 7-1 clip instead of playing the level. Because even if, even if you have P-Wing, you can't fly over the level and you can't even... You can't even clip into the wall with Tanuki. Thus, you're kind of screwed. If you don't have any regular power-ups with you before going in, you're kind of kind of done for. Here's the here's the here's the demented coupling. minutes lost in world three. Like over five minutes lost in one sport. Just imagine. Just because I failed to beat three eight after clouding three six. And I'm i I'm still ahead. This is gonna get worse, I know it. <laughs> it only gets worse. The amount of time saves I can even do in this. Hey, I didn't die at least. I'm not dead. Yes. Movement two. I'm up for, for, for a soprano. Oh god, wh why am I doing this? Why am I messing this up? It's like I'm going way too fast to even be considerable. Plus, this level's easy. Once you do that part of it. Once you get past that part, it's just easy. I don't know why I'd end up dying in this case. Like a movement of three. I get one of these guys. I'm just gonna get both of them out of the way. There, that gives me an extra P wing. Uh, I started too early. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Yeah, I went for it. Oh, really? I just dropped the jump as soon as I started. Movement of four. Oh, God, how do you do peace speed here? Oh, my sweet Jesus. Oh, no, I do. I'm an idiot. And movement of four. I just can't figure out what to do with a movement of... Oh! You can't, answer, you can't go under them? You can't Literal movements of four. Three of them in a row. Three movements of four in a row. That is a bit of a trip. I WHAT THE SHIT?! I got to do a mid-air jump off of that! What the hell is this? You know what, I'm going first. Oh, come on. The one time I actually needed extra lives, and it gave me the chance of getting a mushroom. Another movement of four. Three moves of four, and then a movement of two, and then another four. And another bullshit death watch, another movement of four. Nope, one. Whatever. I already know what this is I already know what's gonna happen to this whole thing anyway. Okay, never mind, that was useless. Close the cell. Okay, you know what? I'm taking the mushroom house just because of that movement of four, and uh, I'm not wanting to lose more time than I already have just lost. I'm not taking the chances. <laughs> not that I really even. Not that I ever need to. Conf not that I ever need to use stars anyway. But whatever. <sighs> Every time I get a game over, it knows what it knows what to do. The game knows how to make my game overs even worse. It's only mine that's you know really have the have the luck to just get spade cars all over the place. Okay, whatever, that was literally worth nothing now. So, now I literally have to replay all the way to 5 fort. Oh, I have to play all the way back to the fort. Which means I've practically lost all my time saves. All my time saves gone. 
it's just straight up gone now. That hurts. That hurts. Was so slippery here. So, I literally had to play all the way back to the fort, which means this level once again. Suffer the fate that is this level. The level that's sin be like three times over. Did I just get a Discord notification? You can't check until this is over. Can't really check now. Oh god, movement the movement in this level scares me. <sighs> Second time in a row where that literally just useless. Oh Jesus Christ, how do you handle this shit? Holy Jesus. Take the wheel! Oh god, wait. Wrong splitting. Dude, you can just- you can come over towards me. I have no hard feelings about you. I have no hard feelings, dude. You had no hard feelings, man. Alright, now we got more chances to take on the fort. Oh, man. Of course the bro runs out. The bro runs away, just peters out of there. P speed. I was just tap. I was just tapping right. I don't even get P speed in that occasion. Three minutes lost. Actually, like three and a half. Ah, you're you're coming with me, boy. I'm tired of your movements of four. Ah, movements of four and then... Like there was worse. You could get an end spade card on top of one of them and you literally soft lock the and you literally soft lock the game because they can't separate. Like the bros are unable to separate from the spade card and they literally get stuck running forever from each other. Which pretty much forces you to reset the game. You know, one framer. As much as you would cloud 5-9, if I don't have a power-up for Roy, if I don't have any power-up going into Roy, I may as well just not even bother clouding. And if I die to Roy, then, um, it'd be sitting right outside the castle. So then, clouding it would pretty much just be useless. I don't even know how much of a chance you could still get for the the airship to be in a nice spot. That was a little scary. Eh. That time saves there until I have confidence it's getting level 5.
Ah, uh, really? Did I really just really? Really? Ah, uh, see, this is what happens. This is what happens when parental nervousness just gets to you. And there's me being a fucking idiot again. Fucking idiots. It's me being your typical fucking idiot. So, high chance to die. Just because I'm an idiot and I can't keep the power up. God fucking damn it! Why do I jump so fucking low? Now I'm literally behind. I literally jump so fucking low that I fucking die in the last fucking hit. It's fucking great. Every fucking time. I am literally a fucking retard. If I didn't do that, I would have been ahead. Would have been ahead if it weren't for that shit. And then again, parental stress is also another factor.
Alright, since I have no power up, I have to loop 6 5. They literally, they literally hit each other twice on the same map. Those bros hit each other twice in a row. I really just get that pixel clip. Oh, you are bullshitting me. You are bullshitting me. Gotta loop it again. I'll loop it one more fucking time. No! You fucking- oh my god. I'm gonna be here all day. I'm gonna be here all day. I'm gonna be here all day. Will the Koopa come back? Or did I just kill it? Oh god, I actually have to loop the whole thing. God fucking damn it. I gotta loop it for a fourth time in a row. Oh god, that's fucking great. Ah, 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 it's fucking great. It still works out. That thing is gonna kick it out of its shell. I saw it, it was literally about to get out of its shell. That was about to kick it out of its shell, Jesus Christ. They split twice in a row, you know what? Fuck you. No, I'm not having it with your shit. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to cloud. At least cloud five seven. Yeah, I remembered. I should have just taken the shell.
I died there in my last run. Damn it! Why? 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 Just because I had a cloud 6-7 means I'm gonna have to do something else here. I don't care if I have to play a fucking spade card game to, make it, to get this bastard. Alright, that's a flower, okay. Why am I getting RNG locked on these games? Why am I getting RNG locked on these card games? It's literally just giving me the same pattern on each of the times, like, every time on this playthrough, it's just locking the RNG seed for the card game. It's like it, it's like it just keeps rolling it over and over until you successfully finish the card game, like the matching, and then it just draws you a new one. So, practically just losing time right now. The only real time saves over back in Pipe World, and uh, I cannot guarantee that's going to be the case. I can't guarantee I'm saving time in Pipe World at all, either. I'd have to come in... I'd have to be able to come in from 6-1, from World 6, with, le with a mushroom. And even then, I have the Fire Flower, so if I come through small here, I can actually still... I am the king of fucking jinxing everything. Oh yeah, of course. I'm chasing this thing all over the place just because I keep fucking things up. I'm not supposed to be fucking something as simple as a jump up. I'm supposed to be fucking it up, I guess. <sighs> I'm gonna be over a minute behind. It's all because of. Fucking lemmy bullshit.
It's not even that hard to do a simple jump yet, I fucked it up and died anyways. Alright, second attempt. Why does it fucking RNG bounce me right back into a ball? Fuck this- fuck this Koopling kid with his ball finish. Fuck your ball finish anyways. <sighs> Come on now, just like- just like seriously, it shouldn't even be this hard. It's just that every time he throws out the ball, I keep getting bounced off the left, so then there's nothing I can do. Consistency doesn't even exist. Consistency never even existed anyways. It's literally a pipe dream. Finally! Took you long enough to actually cooperate. Wow, this thing is something else. At least I picked up a back of Firefly so I can do the... 7-1 clip. However many times it's gonna take, I'll actually be able to save time. And then the rest of this is gonna be like... Whether I can really get through the back half of World 7 without fucking anything up, especially the Koopling fight. God damn. Really fucked up the Koopling fight so badly in World 7. That was like six try, I think. Still golding. Still gold, that's six try. The shittiest thing ever. Never mind that shit. I'll barely be ahead. My goal is... Nah. Oh, barely. I got necked by RNG.
Like seriously, I get necked right at the end of the level every time. Every time at the end of the level, this always happens. Do I even have any extra clouds? Seven F one's free. Time save. Free time save. Oh jeez. As much as I was risk using my last cloud, I I can't consider it. Even though, why would I risk a cloud on seven nine? That level is just that level is as simple as it is anyway. Levels as simple as those. I had no choice though. Either get hit or just just go on there. I think you would cloud this little guy. So you don't have to play this stage. 
Why well, just give me a pain in the butt? <laughs> I forgot. And I keep forgetting there is no hope at all. It's not even that hard, all I have to do is just do stuff. I remember the, that was a lot of time loss of moving, god damn. Just do that. That's gonna be a problem. If I game over, then I'll have to replay two stages. I'll have to, I'll have to replay two levels if I game over. I could literally just game over right now and I'd have no, I'd have like barely any delay with starting World 8 for real. Even then, beating the airship stages through checkpoints. Thus, I should be okay. I just have to keep this time safe throughout the rest of the run. And it'd be okay.
Oh, that was a that was pretty stupid right. The weird thing about this whole level, about these airship levels, is that the, the amount of lag you get in these levels is literally based off your score. The amount of lag you get is based off your score. The more digits that are towards a 9, the worse. The more digits closer to 0, the better, basically. I think beating just one airship stage would not be enough. I probably won't be able to pull this thing in fast enough. Okay, I'm still fine. Might die one of these hand levels, you don't know. How many hands? This one. This, one, this is the simplest one. That's the quickest of the hand levels. The quickest and the easiest of the three. The, getting the one in the middle is fine, because as long as you know what you're doing. So I only got one hand. But that can change if I die here. Whatever. Whatever, I can game over now and I'd be fine. So I only have one hand. Got clipped. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna leave this one out. I still want to be able to pick up this extra life, because, uh, kind of need it. Nah, it's a bit of a trite. Yeah. 
nice RNG. Nice RNG. Probably could have dodged it if I walked to the left in the process, but I don't know, I just doubt it. <laughs> God, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, no, I can't do it like that. I can only do it like that if I beat the other fort. If I beat the fort level, then I can use the left pipe. Otherwise, I have to fight the hands again. Because the hands regenerate after a continue. That counts as- that should count as me landing on it. That's bullshit. Alright, game, you want to rematch me again? Fucking try me. That's bullshit! God damn! This, this game, this game. I forgot about the fact that I probably could have just ended up bouncing on the thing anyways. I am a total fucking idiot. I don't know how to fucking do this. That's position in just the perfect fucking way. That is the perfect fucking way to bullshit. Waiting. That's bullshit. I can't even time. I can't even wait. It's not even allowing me to wait. If I could just get, pe if I could just get to the fort level and beat it, I'd be all set. But no, I'm just stuck here.
Oh wait, it fires even if you're standing right next to it. I thought mo I thought games wouldn't even let you do that. I thought games weren't even allowed to let you do that. I didn't even think Mario titles actually allowed you to be able to have that happen. Apparently only Mario 3 allows this because... What kind of slow speed did I just get? Ugh, oh, finally. Yeah, I'll hope I can get some more chances at this level. Holy shit. WHAT?! It's happening. It's actually happening. It's actually happening, people. It's happening. We have the worst runner on the block. We have the world's worst SMB3 speedrunner in fucking history. He will never PB no matter how fucking far he gets ahead of his splits. Never, never fucking get ahead. You know, I'm just jumping that little fucker. Fuck him. Fuck that bastard. Times like this, where if I can actually beat the level, I would be pretty much all set for the rest of the month. But no, uh, I can't even question how many hands I just got because literally I game over twice now, so I can't even figure out how many hands I truly got. Like I know I got one hand going into the the third airship level the first time. I just can't even mark it anymore because like if I ever game over World Eight, I can't even properly count how many hands I got. I don't even know what to be able to say. Like, this really is happening. Oh, God. Holy shit! Oh my god! I wasn't even expecting to bounce off the last bullet bill. Jesus Christ. Seriously, this stuff shouldn't be that hard, but they really made it that hard. Honestly, this should be hard in the first place. Should be a lot harder to speedrun this, especially when you're forced to go small because you can't even play the game properly. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, RNG! RNG fucking ruining everything. RNG's gonna ruin everything. It's gonna do everything to me. It's gonna make sure I get the worst runs ever. And the worst, worst possible, some of the best PV deviation ever. It's gonna make sure I get the worst deviation ever. Uh, uh, okay. Over eight minutes lost. Wow. 
Over eight minutes lost. Like, look at how much damage that did to my run. Look at how much damage that did to my run altogether. Now PBing this is gonna be a tough one. just comes down to me not dying in any of these levels. It's a scary one. This is a scary one. Oh, nice, I got the bop. Got the bop. I got the bop. Lower, at least I'm keeping my score nice and tidy. Is there a score lag reduction we can do? Except sometimes you just can't resist. Sometimes you have to just do it. Might be an inaccurate split, honestly. Yeah, slightly inaccurate split due to my split time. But whatever. I'm just gonna finish this off. Let's see how this goes. Like me hitting the edge of that last donut messed things up really badly. Well, this is gonna look scary as hell. I had to do that. Got it. All right, mid one forty-two. Damn. Eight minutes lost in A2, just imagine. Okay. Alright, now I can take my shower break.